Hello everybody, Nathan Forrest here, reviewing Riddick for you today. Riddick is the sequel to Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick. It is a movie that goes back to the roots of the trilogy by having Riddick go up against bounty hunters and nasty beasties. The audience gets to cringe, laugh, and holler at the blood sport, once again presented in a Riddick movie. Here's the trailer. Now, I would like to preface this review by saying that I actually really liked Chronicles of Riddick. I am one of those few people that appreciated Chronicles more than I did Pitch Black. This movie does away with a lot of what Chronicles built up, and it does so in a silly, unbelievable fashion, but that's okay. Why is it okay? Because going into one of those movies, you aren't actually looking for anything to stimulate your mind or be logical. These movies are dumb action, and they reward you with many casualties. You go into a Riddick movie to hear silly one-liners and see people get mutilated and slaughtered. And for what they are, they work. They aren't great movies, by any stretch of the term, but they are fun popcorn flicks that you can watch and just have fun at. This movie is the same way. It starts off slow and builds to hilarious carnage. I'm the kind of person that really enjoys seeing a bad guy get horrifically mauled, mutilated, torn apart, and otherwise vivisected in any number of horrible ways that, often, but not necessarily, result in his or her rather hilarious demise and Riddick delivers the violence and carnage. Unfortunately, though, I found it a bit too forgiving, especially compared to Pitch Black. In my twisted mind, there should have been more death, more violence, more slaughter, more blood sports. I guess I'm a barbarian. But where Riddick disappointed me slightly, where violence was concerned, and not by much, I must add, it delivered something wonderful, beautiful, glorious, and awe-inspiring. I am talking about a certain scene with Katie Sackhoff. If you've seen the film, you know the scene that I am talking about. It's the boob shot. Yeah, that's right. We get to see Starbucks boobs, completely randomly and totally without purpose, by the way, which is, of course, the best way to see boobs. That alone guarantees this movie gets at least an average rating. There are plenty of problems with the movie, though. Some of the special effects were pretty laughable. The beginning of the film, although I enjoyed it, could be somewhat slow-paced and boring for those of you that just want to get right into the kill fest. And I found myself guessing correctly almost everything that happened throughout the film. The writing was very predictable, and certain characters, including the canine creature, were presented for a very basic, elementary, and manipulative purpose. But once again, this really didn't bother me. Riddick is a movie that you go see once, have some fun at, and talk about for a little while, hopefully not while you're in the movie, which is a problem I personally have. It isn't a great film. It isn't even a good one. But it is fun. And that is one of the main reasons why we all go see movies. Is it not? I rate Riddick a 5.5 out of 10. It won't blow you away. It won't leave a lasting impression. It might actually leave an aftertaste, but it will be an aftertaste of blood and hilarity. Go out, grab a date or a friend or two, and enjoy this fun waste of time.